Hello everyone and welcome to my setup tour. I'm really excited to share this video with you today. This is going to be a tour of my setup that I've had for a couple of months now. It's actually the first proper setup that I've had since I've in my own house. I mainly use this space for when I'm working from home a couple of times a week and then I also obviously use it for gaming and just chilling out in the evenings and on the weekends. As I said, I've only had this setup for a couple of months so there's still a few things that I want to buy and a few things that I want to upgrade which I will touch upon in the video later on. So I thought I would just show you the general setup of the whole room just to give you a better idea of the layout so this is actually one of the spare bedrooms in my house so here I've got a it's actually a sofa bed which I just use mainly as a chair for reading and stuff so this is the desk itself um, it's not the biggest desk, I actually had to be a little bit careful of how much room it took up because obviously this bed does need to pull out when people stay over. So the desk I actually made myself, I just bought a piece of reclaimed wood um, from a seller on Etsy and then these gold legs I bought separately and my boyfriend just screwed them on for me. So you may be wondering where my PC actually is and I don't actually have a gaming computer, I have a gaming laptop which I store, you follow me, I store under here. Um, so this basically, if I just unplug the cables, so my laptop just gets stored under here and then I plug it into my monitor, ignore that organised chaos underneath there, I use um this cable management tray to store all my cables and then i've got a hdmi cable and my laptop charger which just plug into it and then i obviously can just use the monitor instead of the laptop screen itself so the gaming laptop that i have is the lenovo ideapad 3 and i think it was about 800 pounds when i bought it and I just needed something that I was able to obviously play games on but then I needed something for work as well. I needed it for both reasons really which is why I opted for a gaming laptop rather than a full gaming PC. So I actually upgraded the laptop um, after having it for a few months so it did come with 8GB of RAM um, and I've upgraded it now so it's got 32 gig in total and it's also got 2 terabytes of storage now as well. So yeah as I said when I want to connect it to my monitor the laptop just slides into here and then I plug the HDMI cable and the charger in and just like that Sims is loaded and ready to play and um, I'll just turn that off for now actually and then the monitor is actually an old one of my boyfriend's this is one of the things that I would eventually like to upgrade at some point in the future I'm not really in a rush maybe when one that I like goes in the sale or after I've saved up a little bit for one I would like to get one possibly in white maybe and I also have my switch here as well, which again, I just use a HDMI cable and connect that um, to my monitor if I want to play on there. But most of the time, to be honest, I actually have this plugged in downstairs. Me and my boyfriend are playing, it takes two at the minute. So we've been chilling on the sofa and playing that in the evenings. So it does normally actually stay down there, but I've just moved it back here just to show you. And then this is the keyboard and mouse that I use. This is from Amazon. It was actually um, featured in one of my previous videos. I think it was about 30 or 40 pounds in total for the keyboard and mouse. Obviously it's not the best um, for gaming. I just mainly got it because I thought it looked pretty. So I would eventually probably like to get a proper gaming keyboard um, and mouse. And then you may notice as well that I don't actually have a mouse mat yet. I just can't decide on which one that I want, whether I want just a small mouse pad or whether I want a full um, desk mat, I think they're called. Um, I've had a little look on Etsy and I just can't decide which ones that I want but I am going to have to take the plunge at some point and get one. So the next thing is my chair that I use. This is from Ikea, it was about £100. Obviously it's not a proper gaming chair but they are very expensive. My boyfriend actually has um, a proper gaming chair, it was about £300 and I just can't bring myself to spend that amount of money yet. Um, on a gaming chair but obviously it would be nice to have one one day but for now this one suits me just fine it again like I said it was about £100 from Ikea I love the colour of it it's like a beigey cream colour and then um, because obviously cheaper chairs aren't as good for your back I did buy this um, I think it's called a lumbar cushion from Amazon and that just clips to the back of the chair and gives me a little bit more support when I'm sat here all day working or gaming and then I just use this throw that I got for Christmas um, just to make it a little bit more cosy. Other things that I have on my desk itself is my charging pad for my phone that's just plugged in again underneath the desk in that chaos. 
and then I also have this pot, plant pot that my boyfriend got me for Christmas, which I still want to get a little plant for it. And then I've also got my um, diffuser here as well, which again is just plugged in with a USB cable underneath my desk. And then probably my favourite thing on my desk is my bookcase, which I got a couple of months ago from Maisons Du Monde, which is an online furniture store. And it stores all of my cloth bound classics in. Um, so I think I've got about 16 now in total. So yeah, I do collect these. I tend to ask my friends and family to get me new ones for Christmas and um, birthdays and things. And then if I'm ever on holiday or somewhere new and I see one, I do like to pick one up um, from any new places that I visit. And then on top of the bookcase, I've got this, whoop, I've got this book that my boyfriend got me, which is probably the prettiest book I have ever seen. If that's in focus. It says, um, life in a country house. I've had a little flip through it and it's just full of the most pretty pictures ever. I absolutely love it. And then on top of my bookcase, I've got dried flowers. I actually have so many dried flowers um, all over this room. So I've got this wreath, which is just attached to the side of the wardrobe that's next to my desk. Obviously these ones here. I've got some bunny tails. And then where else? These ones are actually fake, the ones that are actually on my desk. So then in terms of other desk desk that I've got, I always have a hot drink whenever I'm gaming or working. So this mug was actually from Anthropology. I got it for Christmas. It's got my initial on it. And then I got this cute little coaster from Etsy. I think it was from somebody who makes like resin art or resin like home decor. And um, so I love that. And then I love neon candles there, probably like the only candles that I tend to burn because um, they're like more natural and just meant to be a little bit better for you than some of the candles that are made with um, lots of different chemicals. Got my wand here from the Wizarding World at Universal. Not a character wand, it's actually, I think it was called the Ivy Wand or something like that. I mainly got it because I liked the um, gold bit on the bottom of the, of the handle. Handle whatever you call it, the bottom of the wand. Um, so yeah, I've got my wand there and then this quill and ink set, which I also got from Universal. I love that. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so any sort of decor that's Harry Potter related, I am a sucker and I will buy it. And then on the walls next to my desk, I've got these frames, which I put some dried flowers in. Um, I think they're just really cute and pretty. And then I've also got this, um, is it called like a cross stitch? embroidery thing that I got from Etsy that someone made and then of course plant pots even though I forgot to water this one when I went away so it's sadly dying um but yeah my string of hearts I think they're called I don't know what the actual like plant name is for them they seem to be doing really well um and I'm actually managing to keep them alive which is a surprise and then other bits of home decor I've got this candle for Christmas which I probably won't burn because it's too pretty and then I've got my Polaroid camera and a little Hermione pop with my Hogwarts letter in the background pretty much all of this stuff um that I've used to like decorate my setup is mainly from Etsy even like the shelves and the little mirror up there all from Etsy. I just love Etsy for anything like this, including these little Harry Potter inspired keys that I got, which are actually just stuck on the wall with a bit of blue tack slash white tack. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do. If you're meant to put white tack on walls, I assume it'll be fine. I will know if it's marked the walls when I take them down and worry about it then. In terms of stuff on the walls, again, I've showed you the prints over here, but then on this side, I've got this Claude Monet print. Um, which I think was from Desenio, it's like an online print company. And then this, I always say this wrong, is like macrame, macrame, um, like wall hanging that I got from Etsy. I absolutely love that. I saw it on there and I just had to get it. I just love it. And you may have seen these in my last video, but my boyfriend got me a couple of prints for Christmas, which I still need to put on the wall. I haven't decided on the layout yet. But there's this one, which is like um, a picture of a, like a Victorian hallway with like some dried flowers on a little table. I love that. The frame feels such good quality as well. And then he also got me this one, which is, it's like a lady from like the 18th century. I think it's like very Pride and Prejudice um, 
sat in her garden reading and I just love that I think it's so pretty I can't wait to get it on the wall I'm not sure what layout I'm gonna do yet but yes can't wait for those to be up to end the video I thought it would be fun to show you the games that I have so in terms of games on my switch I have um, Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley they're probably the ones that I've played the most and then as I said earlier in the video me and my boyfriend are actually playing It Takes Two at the moment so we're quite far into that I don't know how long the game actually is but we're pretty far into it now we've this is a spoiler alert by the way if you've not played the game yet we've got past the elephant um, part of the game which was highly traumatic um, I won't say any more on that but yes traumatised from that so they're the games that I have on Switch and then in terms of games that I play on my laptop, of course, we've got Sims, which is probably my most played game since I got this laptop. I'm actually back into Sims at the minute. I always binge it and then I don't play it for like a year and then I'll play it again. And then Elder Scrolls Online, me and my boyfriend were obsessed with this game during lockdown. We played it most days um, and most evenings after work and we just haven't played it in ages. I went on it the other day um, because we actually had the ESO Plus membership where you get a certain amount of crowns every month. Um, but I cancelled it a few months ago, but I had actually had quite a lot of uh, months worth of crowns built up on it just to see what I could buy with them. And I upgraded my character's gear a little bit with it, but I soon came off it because I just, I don't know, I'm just bored of it at the moment. Maybe I'll go back to it one day. And then Skyrim, which is probably one of my favourite games. Again, I, I do this all the time. I will play it for ages and then not play it for months and then go back and start playing it again. But with Skyrim, I always seem to like starting over. So I've never actually fully completed the game, but I must have started over about 10 times and I'm always a mage um every time without fail even though if i try and convince myself that i'm going to be something else i'm always a breton mage so love that and then fall guys which is a game when me and my boyfriend just want a little bit of added, added stress <laughs> to our lives um it normally results in us both rage quitting not gonna lie and then stardew valley which i recently in november started a new save file on that um obviously i have got it on switch as well but i actually prefer it on um pc because of the mods and stuff you can get and then i also have other crap games that my boyfriend laughs at before um so i've got like virtual families too which is such a throwback i used to love playing this when i was a kid as well as virtual villagers as well so yeah that's pretty much all of the games that i've got as i said i'm waiting for hogwarts legacy to come out next month so i'm really excited for that and that is going to go ahead and conclude my setup tour. If you've liked this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!